Welcome to the technical training channel of Electrometer Corporation. Today our topic is the calibration of thermocouples. A short animated video will render you the working of a thermocouple and how to obtain measurements from it post which we shall move ahead to the calibration of the thermocouple. In industrial measurement technology, various types of electrical thermometers are used. One of them is the thermocouple. To illustrate, we will choose a thermocouple with a connection cable. A thermocouple consists of two wires made of dissimilar metals that are connected to each other at the measuring point. Essentially, a thermocouple will work even if the two wires simply touch each other at the measuring point or are twisted together. For more industrial measurements, however, only a welded thermocouple can be considered, since it exhibits particularly high vibration resistance. When the temperature at the measuring point rises or drops, the electron density of each metal also changes. This altered electron density, i.e. the voltage, is measured at the wire ends. A thermocouple never measures the absolute temperature, but always the differential temperature between the measuring point and the connection point. For thermocouples, a cold junction compensation is necessary to ensure that the ambient temperature at the connection terminals of the cold junction does not affect the measuring result. In order to achieve the highest possible thermoelectric voltages, Special material pairings are used whose individual electronegativities are as far apart as possible. The cheaper base metal pairings produce a higher thermoelectric voltage when compared to the noble metal pairings. However, noble thermocouples can even be used at high temperatures of up to 1700 degrees Celsius. There are many types of thermocouples that are suitable for different temperature ranges and whose measurement accuracies are readable in limit value tables in the IEC 60584-1 and ASTM E230 standards. We are happy to advise you on choosing the right thermocouple for your application. Now, Moving on to the part of thermocouple calibration, we shall need to know what exactly we require to conduct this calibration. Before discussing the points at length, it is assumed that the viewer is familiar with the terms like DUC, device under calibration, standard, that is the equipment with respect to which the DUC is calibrated. The equipment that we are going to require in order to conduct this calibration are number one. The indicator of the thermocouple in case it comes with an indicator or our own indicator that needs to be connected to it for taking the reading. In case the sensor thermocouple to be calibrated is not equipped with an indicator and we are not in possession of another indicator then a high accuracy digital multimeter can also be used to read the values of the thermocouple in terms of millivolt and convert it to the corresponding temperature value. We can use either the ITS 90 chart that is the international temperature standard for 1990 or certain online simulators to do this conversion. Number 2. A suitable and a variable temperature bath, preferably liquid bath like that of water or alcohol to cover the range of measurement that we need to calibrate the thermocouple at. 
it is better if the indicator of the duc thermocouple and the standard both have logging facilities which will save manual intervention and readings can be recorded at fixed intervals to serve the purpose of repeatability and number 3 that is our own standard rtd or thermocouple with an indicator we are going to calibrate a wire type a type thermocouple this is the wire type a type thermocouple by using a comparison method of calibration by using a temperature bar this is our oil bar and this is standard sprt this is our temperature calibrator by which we will get the reading of our sprt and this is the thermometer digital thermometer to get this reading of this a type thermocouple now we set the temperature of this bath at 100 degree c and the bath is showing this temperature of 103 degree point 35 degree c and now we can see the temperature showing this temperature calibrator is 100 point 102.5 degree c and this temperature meter this temperature is showing 102.3 degree c this is the duc duc means device under calibration we are calibrating this thermocouple by comparison method that means we compare the reading of our standard and this duc to get the error and we are getting the error of 0.4 degree c that's it the calibration of thermocouple by using temperature bath and sprt thank you